Hi, my name is Wen Bo Yang. I come to the United States about two years ago. For the past eight years, my job has always been about coffee. The moment I decided to come here without any hesitation, I chose the city of Portland, which is a cluster of excellent coffee roasters in the United States. That being said, it brings to the topic I want to share with you from dark to light, both coffee and life. First, let us have benchmarks. Beans from Starbucks and Pete's represent dark roast, right? Although there is no big chain coffee brands like Starbucks and Pete's from Portland, there are hundreds of brilliant coffee roasters such as Stamtown Coffee, Heart Coffee, and Kova Coffee. They offer medium to light roast coffee. Today, I would like to recommend to you guys the medium light roast coffee. If you are a coffee drinker, please try to go to the local specialty coffee shop to have a cup of coffee. Well, you will be served the great coffee from all over the world. It helps you to redefine your flavor preference. I will not be surprised if you say, why should I do that? You will say, I am so used to dark roast, which is taste uh, strong, roasty, smoky, and also with a low acidity. Perhaps the cafe offer dark roast is close to your heart and you know what to order. But I suggest you try, I am with good reasons. First of all, for health, researchers have shown that drinking coffee could reduce the risk of diseases such as type 2 diabetes, blood pressure, heart attack, and stroke. Because of two compounds, caffeine and uh, chlorogenic acid. So we're already familiar with caffeine. So what is chlorogenic acid? Let me explain it for you. Chlorogenic acid is natural compound found in coffee beans. It could reduce the risk of diseases such as diabetes and cancer. It also can stimulate weight loss, reduce the blood pressure, and also can make drinkers mood better. The study conducted by university found out that daily input 400 mg chlorogenic acid is really, really good for our health, which you can obtain from two to three cups medium light roasted coffee. However, you will need to drink 6 to 10 cups dark roast coffee in order to obtain same amount chlorogenic acid. Sounds crazy. 6 to 10 cups. Is that too much for you? Meanwhile, caffeine always stays. Take 6 to 10 cups dark roast. We get almost double amount of caffeine. So, medium to light roast coffee is smarter choice. It helps us to get enough nutrients and uh, uh, moderate the caffeine intake. Apart from health, medium roast coffee brings us amazing flavors, just like what wines do. This might be an adventure with your palate and your olfactory system. But it will also bring you lots of pleasure. While being medium light your state, coffee beans could generate all kinds of pleasant flavor, such as floral, fruity, herb, nutty, and caramel. On the other hand, when they are dark roasted, 
this pleasant flavor of gum and the spicy, woody and smoky flavors stand out. It's just like grilled steak. Well done steak does not taste the quality of meat. Last but not least, I would like to suggest you support local roasters who play an important role in connecting coffee growers with local communities. Direct trade helps the coffee farmers increase their profits and the community can enjoy coffee made from high quality green beans. They also organize the co public coffee carping and a fundraising event to support local communities. In conclusion, as a coffee professional in Portland, it's my privilege to work in, the, in this amazing city. I highly encourage you all to support local roasters where you can get a nice flavor with, from medium light roasted coffee, which is uh, good to your health. And also, you will relax in the creative, artistic, and a friendly environment coffee shop. With what I said above, I didn't mean dark roast is bad. Actually, I drink dark roast coffee every morning. I just want to encourage you all give a try to medium light roasted coffee. Make our life colorful. Thank you.